Hey, everybody. I hope everybody's healthy and staying safe. You know, I work with the tools a lot and I'm constantly inventing new ways to work with them, coming up with new insights. And I thought I would share some of those. You know, this has been a period, at least for me, of a lot of longing and loneliness. I just miss my kids. I miss my friends. I miss restaurants I used to go to. I even miss the grocery store I used to go to and the people I used to talk to there. And sometimes the longing gets surprisingly intense. Something happened just the other night. Uh, I came downstairs from my office and went into the kitchen and my brother-in-law was there. And I haven't seen him or hugged him for over a year. So there we were and I was shocked. I hugged him and I just burst into tears. I was flooded with the feelings of missing people so deeply. And I was thinking about it later and I realized that that longing and those tears came from a really deep place. And what I suddenly realized is that the grief and the longing is what my shadow feels toward me and has felt for my entire life. Everyone's shadow is different, but everyone has a buried part of themselves that they buried very early on. That's what the shadow is. And it never occurred to me that having been buried so early, the shadow longs for me. So I began to turn to my shadow whenever I felt this longing for friends and family and stuff like that. And it was very interesting. Not only was it healing, but the shadow actually began to ask for more. The shadow said to me, you know what it's like living down here? All I see is the back of your head because you're always facing the outside world. How about bringing me with you? So I was reading in bed you know, before I went to sleep and instead of reading to myself, I read to both of us. It reminded me of what I used to do with my kids. My shadow was literally there, his head in the crook of my shoulder. In the middle of a session with a patient, I got stuck. I just didn't know what to say. And I turned to my shadow and he suddenly gave me a nugget that I never would have gotten on my own. A friend of mine was having a hard time and I just kind of felt myself shutting down. You know, this is an occupational hazard when you're a therapist and you listen to people complaining all day. And I turned to my shadow and he was so in touch with the empathy that I could not feel at that moment. His empathy came flooding through me. All of this is to say, I recommend that you try this and see what happens. At the very least, it's giving me a new goal, which is that by the time I die, I want my shadow to feel fully recognized, deeply appreciated and included in everything that I do. Thanks and good luck.